Every physis-based organ has a built-in sequencer that can be used for recording and playing back performances. Performances are recorded as standard MIDI files, not as audio information, so the data represent which notes you played and when, which stops were pulled, what the swell pedal was doing and so forth. You can do things like changing the tempo, transposing the performance and overlaying new notes if you wish. You can think of the internal sequencer as a sophisticated electronic piano roll or perhaps a fairground organ system. If you know what you're doing, you may be able to edit the MIDI files using a separate computer-based sequencer. But you can do a lot of basic things from the organ control panel itself. The only proviso is that you need to use the organ to re-perform the recordings as the stored information simply tells the organ what to do. You can't play the files as sound recordings in their own right, although you could record the audio output of the organ using a conventional audio recorder if you wanted a sound file instead. The recording sequencer also needs to be distinguished from the stop sequencer that you'd use for stepping through combinations during a performance. We'll cover that in a separate tutorial, so for now I'll just show you the basic functions of the recording sequencer. There's a dedicated button on the control panel to access the sequencer. When you press it, you're taken to a simple screen showing play, play options and record. In order to set the ball rolling, we'll start by recording a short new piece. It'll go in the organ's internal memory, unless you have a USB memory stick plugged in, in which case it would be recorded on the stick. And you can see which it is here at the bottom of the display. So I press record and the screen shows a list of the so-called songs in the memory. Every piece is called a song in MIDI terms. It's headed by new song, so for now I'm going to record an entirely new song, so I'll accept new song here by pressing enter. I need to set up a suitable registration and make sure all the organ settings are as I want them before I start, as it will record these as well as the notes I play. So I've got that set up on General 4, and when I'm ready I'll press Enter to start recording and then play a short hymn tune. When I finish, I press Exit to stop. If I had wanted to pause the recording rather than stop, I could have pressed enter instead. Now that I've recorded my hymn, I'm going to save it. So I select save on the menu. Now showing that I have to enter a file name when I press enter. The first three characters have to be numbers, that's here. So the cursor starts at a point where I can enter a name to identify the song. So I'll enter some characters. Come for, come down, O oh love divine. There. And now I press enter to store it. Now I can hear my recording by pressing play on the main sequencer page. And you can see a list of all the songs in the memory. So I'll select the one I just recorded and the main play screen appears. And you can see the name of the song at the top, the tempo as a percentage of the recording speed showing 100 there at the moment, and what the various buttons do during replay which is shown in this region here. Pressing enter starts to replay my hymn tune. And then pressing exit stops it. If I press the minus button while it's playing, I can slow down the replay or I can speed it up using the plus button. If I press the up or down buttons, 
I can skip between songs stored in the memory or the song list, but we'll leave that for now. If I press down the minus or plus buttons while the song is playing, I can fast forward or rewind. So you can see there's quite a lot of flexibility in the way in which we can step around the song and change the tempo. Once I've recorded something, I can do what's called overdubbing, which adds new material to the existing song. The new material doesn't replace the original stuff, it's simply overlaid, so I'm going to use this to add a little descant to my hymn tune. You could use this for playing duets with yourself, or building up a piece part by part, for example. In order to overdub something, I first press record and see a list of the songs in the memory. Now, instead of selecting new song, I'm going to select the hymn tune I just recorded. Now you see that it says press enter to replace panel or exit to keep the songs panel. Panel here means the stops and settings of the organ that were used originally. So I'm going to press exit to keep them. And then the same thing for uh, volumes, which means the divisional volumes and swell pedal settings. So again, I'm going to press exit to keep the original song's volumes. Now we see a screen that's very similar to the play screen, in this case, the overdub screen. You can press the plus or minus keys to change the replay speed before you attempt the overdub shown as more or less than 100 in the top right hand corner. You can also fast forward or rewind, as I mentioned earlier, by holding down the plus or minus keys in order to get to approximately the right place in a long recording. I'll just start by pressing enter and record my descant while the original tune plays. When I get to the end of the overdub, I press exit to stop, but I could keep going for longer than the original recording and we'd just get a longer overall recording. I then get to choose what I do. I can play the combined result or play from the last overdub, which basically means beginning from the first event of the most recently recorded overdub. I then choose whether to accept the overdub version or trim and accept. You can see the difference graphically here. Accept keeps the longest of either the original or the overdubbed version, whereas trim and accept keeps a version that is trimmed to the length of the overdub, whether it's longer or shorter. I'll just accept it in this case, and now I can choose to save the revised song, either with a new name or I can rewrite the old one. Now in this case, I'm going to give it a new name. So I'll give it a number five, come there and save it. Going back to the main sequencer screen, play options allows me to do four things. I can transpose the replay up or down as the organ's transposer only affects what is recorded, not what's replayed. I can also loop the replay of the song, which means that it just keeps going round and round until I say stop. The last two functions then relate to song lists, which I'm not going to explain in detail now, except to say that it's possible to make up lists of pre-recorded songs, which can then be played in sequence automatically and the entire list looped if needed. I've given you a brief introduction to the built-in recording sequencer that you'll find as a feature of all physis based organs. It allows you to record, overdub and play back your performances and to change the pitch or tempo. You might find it useful when learning new pieces or for listening back to how you've played, among other things. You could even, heaven forfend, use it for when you don't have an organist at church. <laughs>